Of all the creatures I know, humans were by far the most puzzling. They were able-bodied and intelligent beings. Capable of unbelievable feats of athleticism. And brilliance. They had a vast and beautiful world to explore. They were social and communicated well. They had unbelievable potential. They were an evolutionary masterpiece. And yet they almost let themselves go extinct. And it all started with a company named Maxinet. A media company offering free cable TV, internet, and wireless phone service. And best of all, this company paid its subscribers to use its services. Nobody knew why, and nobody knew how, but nobody cared. Commerce around the world slowed to a halt. The humans began to shut themselves out. Doors were locked, windows were shut, and blinds were pulled, and the rise of Maxinet began their own downfall. Now as it is with most movements focused on change, the path must first be blazed by those who want the change the most, but in this case, nobody wanted change. The humans needed someone to lead the way and save them from an almost certain fate of extinction. They needed a front runner, a savior. They needed a hero. And this hero just so happened to be Maxinet's poster child. and he was going to save the entire human race. Whether he wanted to or not. In a haze, he had set off to uncover what he had sealed himself off from all these months.
the world he once loved was now foreign to him. He rediscovered his hometown with childlike wonder. Then, all at once, his past came back to haunt him. The memory sank back in. His hand helped stifle this world. He knew he had to change what he had helped cause. restore the world to its former glory. So he began to do what he did best. The art of persuasion was nothing new to him. Like he had done before, he sent out a message. A message to the people of the land whom he had done wrong. And one to urge them to rediscover the beauty of the world that they had abandoned so long ago. And in the end, it was clear. That all he had to do was disconnected.